Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. You can have your seat. God bless you. Uh, once again, my name is Prophet Justice Hara. You can even say that again. Justice Hara is my name. The servant of the Most High God who was called and commissioned by God himself to run his kingdom mission on earth. But in the process of time, I got privileged even the further and more to get actually connected with his servant of God once again who happens to be Prophet Major Bushiri the father and the founder of ECG International I, I thought I'd hear a better amen from someone in this place <laughs> ladies and gentlemen and elsewhere you're watching me right now on prophetic channel we are much much privileged that God gave us the grace to be connected to his own servant that he chose in our nation and in our nations and this person happens to be the major himself prophet Bushiri we thank God for this man I for one prophet justice Harold I'm so much humbled ladies and gentlemen whenever I see and I hear this man talking the word and ministering to many nations of the earth and reaching out to many thousands and millions of people out there including yourself that you're watching and hearing me right now you can be my witnesses all of you you have been once touched by the grace of God upon him and also please one thing I would like to appreciate God so much ladies and gentlemen is that this man of God accepted the call of the father I sometimes wonder where some of us would have been if this man of God did not accept the call not all people accept the call when God calls them uh, let me tell you something you know, the Bible says many are, many are the called but a few are chosen do you exactly understand what that means when the Bible says many are called and few are chosen let me tell you something you are also one of the people that are called but amongst the many people that are called, out of the many that are called, few people are chosen out of that. You know. Listen. When we say few are chosen, many people are, can, can be called. We are all called into salvation. Let me tell you something. The, the, what the Bible means when it says uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Viewers on prophetic channel, and all of you listen to the sound of my voice right now. What actually it means here is we are all called. The first call is a call for, for all of us here. It's the first call into salvation. But when he called us into salvation, he himself, God Almighty, in his own sovereignty, he also decided to choose people out of the court. And such people, he gave them the authority, divine authority, a certain dimensional power that is so supernatural, and, and a grace that we cannot just find it anywhere. And the people that he, he chose, he gave them the, the grace. And let me tell you something. One of the people that he called and he chose, I thought I'd hear a big amen before I mention to you something. It's actually the father and the founder of ECG, and in fact, the prophetic channel, the one you are watching, Major Prophet Bushin. You can clap hands better than that. The mission of the gospel, ladies and gentlemen, it is not an easy thing. That is why I said I appreciate this man that he accepted the call. I wonder if this man never had accepted the call that day. Some of us wouldn't have been where we are now. And the testimonies we give, we wouldn't have been giving such testimonies if this man of God never had accepted the call from the Father. And let me believe that it was only by God's grace that he also accepted that call. Because the day he accepted that call, he also accepted you and myself. 
we were inside that core we were we were right inside that acceptance if he had if if he was he was to deny that core he was going to deny myself and he was also going to deny yourself as well the privileges to enjoy kingdom realities i appreciate this man of god so much and may god bless him in the name of jesus christ you can say amen and you can say more than that you can say bigger amen than that amen. praise god praise god praise god now 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 what we are talking here welcome all of you viewers everywhere you're watching us from the prophetic channel whether you're watching us in america in europe asia africa what we are talking here is something very critical and sensitive very very powerful there is a stigma outside there about prophets that is very 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 critical and most of us we do not understand but i want all of you to understand me very very well a nation cannot be without a prophet and the board of Christ cannot be complete without a prophet why do we say so and why have we come here with a prophetic channel on a prophetic channel with an agenda to talk who is a prophet and the importance of a prophet it is all because of the stigma that is outside there that we do not understand who exactly a prophet is let me beseech you by the message of God that the day you're going to understand exactly who a prophet is your life will never be the same again your life will never be the same again never never the same again we can never be without a prophet and a nation without a prophet that nation is dead let me appreciate that in our nation of malawi god has graced us so highly to have a prophet major who should born in a nation in fact with myself inside because i'm also prophet justice Sarah. you can say you can clap us more than that amen let me tell something Must answer. We have we've heard all from the time we are born, all of us here, including you watching me on this prophetic channel. We've heard from the time we are born that they are pastors. We heard that they are apostles. We heard that they are teachers of the word. We heard they are evangelists. In the same way, we also have prophets. If we accept that answer there, they have got, we have pastors we cannot deny the fact that prophets also exist maybe if, if you do not understand what you're talking about listen to me all of you viewers and those of you are hearing me right now on this prophetic channel when jesus christ came into this planet to launch the ministry of salvation and reconciliation he brought in five calls or five ministers that Five powerful solid ministers at cross plot. And these ministers can easily be identified by these five fingers that every one of you have. Can I please see? Can you have? Can you? Can you? Can all of you have? Yes, please. Can I see your five fingers? Beautiful. Those five fingers are very, very important. Amen. Very, very, very important. And it actually represents the five-fold ministry that Christ Jesus himself brought on this planet earth. This big finger here, the thumb, in as far as the five-fold ministry of Christ is concerned, it represents the apostle. This prophetic ministry, this prophetic finger here, an apostle is a person who can, can function in all dimensions. It is the only finger that is able to touch all the heads of all other fingers. It's this one. So this finger represents a prophet. It represents an apostle. Let me jump on this finger. Let him come to this finger here. This small finger here represents a teacher. You use most of this finger to clean up your ear. It is this person here, as a teacher, who sits with the church 
and educate the church in kingdom reality through the word and bring across the truth of God's word to the point you can understand and grow yourself into maturity in the things of the spirit of God and this happens with you until you understand it gets inside of your ear he is a teacher and this finger here this one represents a pastor a pastor someone who keeps the church someone who is loved by the by the church whether he's preaching or no, he's not preaching whether he's preaching nice or he's not preaching nice you just love him and you just follow him and you can agree with me all of us with the backgrounds where we're coming from we used to go to church religiously and we just follow pastors just like we did not understand exactly even the jude of a pastor in church but from nowhere we just love the pastor naturally it's all because it is on this finger of course but this side where you put your link of love and marriage confidence you just love a person so it is a pastor in church he's just love just like that i'm sure you're getting me what i'm saying and i hear a better amen from you. beautiful and not only that ladies and gentlemen we have this longer finger the middle one is a little bit taller than others it is projected outside the height is a little bit different this finger is projected outside it represents an evangelist someone who goes out to reach out and that's why this finger is longer so this finger represents an evangelist someone who has been called into the ministry of evangelism reaching out marketplaces everywhere else in corridors in rooms preaching elsewhere without necessarily a platform or necessarily good order or another it's, it's a, this finger as an evangelist let me believe that you're you're getting what i'm saying now why is it that most of the time we only argue and we do not understand the prophetic finger or well, the prophetic finger is one of the calls of the callings or the five for the ministry Christ launched on this planet that is the reason why we are here on this channel today so that you do not miss the grace in this end times if you one day encountered an evangelist and a minister to you grace and you want them made a pastor and minister to the grace of god and you want them made an evangelist of the teachers of the word it is also you you made an apostles they also gave you the word it is also by god's divine agenda or plan that you should also get a minister to by the prophets and this is a very powerful thing i want all of you viewers to hear me very 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 well if you can only miss me here you may not get me again because i'm very very scared to find reason now we have this finger here this finger represents a prophet you use this finger to show directions if you want to say to show direction to someone you do not use the whole hands go this way this way this way this way or if you want to point to point a specific thing you do not use this finger here have you ever done you know go there there, 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 there. go this way it means something is wrong mentally there you always do this with this finger even if you want to warn someone you do not warn someone using this small finger here. that my friend i warn you <laughs> am i talking to someone here the finger that you use to warn someone and the finger that you use to give direction to point out on something that is very specific you use this finger here and this finger represents the finger of a prophet it's a prophetic finger and that is why a prophet is able to tell you the day you were born and goes to a specific problem that you have and gives a solution he points out and he can pinpoint you in the matter of many people and go out to your name and give out your son name. the reason why he points you out is this is the finger that works 
you may have a lot of problems and not all those problems you are supposed to explain them to someone some problems you cannot manage them to explain can you say amen, amen. praise God you need this prophetic finger to point out the exact problem that you have and when the finger of, him, of God has pointed at you no one else can bend it And God's finger is a prophetic ministry. Where you hear about prophetic ministry, the finger of God is there. It's going to point you out. And why you hear about prophetic ministry, it means the voice of God is also there. Now, if, if you're listening to me the way I'm talking, ladies and gentlemen, how can you miss such type of grace that God has given to us in this generation? It's an error to be collected. And that's so why we have this type of program to collect that error that so that you may receive the grace of God in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you're watching me right now, may you receive the prophetic grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to the Almighty God. Let me believe that you exactly now know the importance of the prophetic ministry out of what I've just explained here. Can I hear a better amen? amen. Okay, turn with me your Bibles in the book of Hosea, chapter number 12, verse number 13. The book of Hosea, chapter number 12, verse number 13. The book of Hosea, chapter number 12, verse number 13. Let me read it for you. Hosea, chapter number 12, verse number 13. The Bible says, And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, Israel was preserved. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me very, very well. This prophetic ministry is very, very important. And that's why even the channel that we have, you can even read yourself on the screen, far corner here, it is written prophetic channel. It's what we are talking about. Listen to me very well, all my viewers. Everywhere else you're watching me right now. The Bible itself, from Genesis to the book of Malachi, it was written by prophets. It means at some point, we would need prophets to interpret what other prophets want. Because the Bible says the spirit of a prophet, of the spirit of prophecy is subject to the prophet. So if we are to understand Genesis from Genesis to Malachi, we got to approach the Bible with a prophetic understanding. And that's the reason why we are all here. So that by God's grace we may trigger into the understanding of who exactly a prophet and the prophetic ministers are. So that whenever you're approaching the Bible, you may get a full understanding of what we are talking about. Now listen to me. For example, I can tell you the book of Genesis. Who wrote the book of Genesis? The book of Genesis was written by Moses. And Moses never, never lived long. Or Moses was not there in the book of Genesis. Or when God was creating, the guy was not there in the first days of creation. Was Moses there? What, did Moses walk with Adam? Did they exchange words? The best person who would have wrote the book of Genesis was supposed to be Adam and Eve. I talk to me here. You, I said, talk to me. He was supposed to be Adam. But Moses, ladies and gentlemen, for a, a man in another generation, he is the person that wrote the book of Genesis. If I ask you a question here, was Moses there in the book of Genesis? And why did he say in his writing that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth? And the earth was without form. Or with, and the earth was void. And darkness was hovering on the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord was covering the surface of the Ladies and gentlemen, talk to me. How could Moses wrote all these things? 
and verse number three and the Bible says and God said let there be light and there was light and God saw that that light was good and Moses in another generation he was writing this was Moses there now the same spirit that made Moses write this book that spirit there is what we call the spirit of prophecy it is a spirit of truth that can reveal your past can reveal your present time or your present situation and can reveal the future that is why Moses wrote the Bible this book of Genesis here can I hear a better amen if you're listening do you think if you approach the Bible without having a prophetic understanding would you be able to understand this talk to me will you be able to understand this and that's why God has raised prophets and one of them happens to be major Bushiri and one of them happens to be myself and all other prophets elsewhere that are watching me right now if you are coming from a country or you, where there is a great man of God and is a true prophet of God and you have tested his fruit submit yourself to that man of God the way we also submit to major prophet Bushiri here That's how Moses wrote the book of Genesis. It was by the speed of prophecy. The guy wrote it. And he also wrote Exodus and all other books. Ladies and gentlemen, it is by the speed of prophecy. Which means, listen to me very well before we conclude here or before we go for black. The Bible was launched by prophets. But my very own supplies, the Bible is also being concluded by prophecy. Meaning to say, prophets pioneered the Bible, and prophets will also conclude the Bible. Then we cannot run away from hearing prophets talking to us. It's just that in our nation nowadays, the some are false. And if they are false prophets, if they are also, if they are, they are also false, false pastors. We also have false apostles. We also have false teachers of the world. And the Bible says, beware of these teachers of the law. And you also have false evangelists. Now, am I talking to someone in this place? And not only that, we also have fake members, false members of the church. Be very careful, because you're going to be also one of the people that are fake. How do we find fake members of the church? They that do not submit to their elders are fake members of the church. They that do not know submission to higher authority. Whosoever is great today was once under somebody. If you want to be great, identify who is greater among you and submit yourself. Listen. Submission is not foolishness. Submission is not foolishness. Say it with me. Submission is not foolishness. Whosoever has been successful in life was once under somebody. Let me believe that you are under a prophetic channel. You are going to become great in Jesus' name. Listen to me before the closure the Bible says in Hosea chapter number 12 verse 13 the Bible says by a prophet Israel was redeemed and by a prophet Israel was preserved in other words by a prophet God in other words God sent a prophet to redeem Israel and God sent a prophet to preserve Israel our redemption is by prophets and our preservation is also by the anointing of prophecy. Ladies and gentlemen, our redemption is by prophetic movement. And God preserved Israel by a prophet. If you are a child of God listening to the sound of my voice, and you want to be preserved, 
sit under the grace of the prophetic. More especially this end time we are in. Sit under the grace of the prophetic. You are going to be preserved. And you are going to be redeemed. And not only that, you know, you know for sure. Second Chronicles chapter number 20, verse number 20b. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God and you will be established. And believe also in his prophets. What do you do? You are going to prosper. If you want prosper, there's a certain dimension of prosperity that God will give you just because you are connected to a prophet. I connect you to death of this prophetic altar in Jesus' mighty name. And I believe you are going to continuously watch prophetic channel so that prosperity can flow all over your life and all over your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace of God wherever you're watching me right now. Praise be to the almighty God. So remember to remember. And the Bible says, do not do harm to my prophets. The Bible doesn't say, do not do harm to my pastors. Do not do harm to my evangelists. In other words, do harm to evangelists. And do harm to pastors. But to my prophets, reserve them. Do not do harm. Anyway, what we are trying to say here is, we are not necessarily to say, go and do harm to evangelists. No. God was trying to put an emphasis of who a prophet is. That do not do harm to my servants, the prophets. Why? If you believe in them, you are going to be successful. Can you say a better, a better amen? amen? Lastly, open the Bibles in the book of 2 Peter chapter number 1. 2 Peter chapter number 1. Verse number 19, 20, and 21. Second Peter chapter number one verses from 19, 20, and 21. The Bible says verse number 18. Second Peter chapter number one. Verse number 18. Or oh, let's just start from verse number 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy where you do well to pay attention to it for it is like a lamp that shineth in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart verse number 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of private interpretation for the prophecy came not in the will of man but holy men of God prophesied as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. This is so remarkable. Very, very, very powerful. Listen to me, child of God, as we're getting blessed. The Bible says, we now have the word of a prophet more certain. Or we now have the word of a prophet more sure. And you do well to pay attention to it. And now this is a New Testament Bible. And this is Peter. And Peter was one of the apostles. But he spoke the prophetic word. Meaning to say, whether you are a prophet, whether you are an apostle, whether you are a pastor, whether you are whosoever you are, you cannot run away from this generation nowadays, or this, this generation. It's, it's a prophetic generation. For your own information, we are a prophetic people living in a prophetic world in order to fulfill the prophecies. You don't understand what I'm saying. We are a prophetic people living in a prophetic world in order to fulfill the, proph the prophecies. And we cannot run away from prophecy. And Peter understood it and he said, you do well to pay attention to this prophetic word. Because this prophetic word, it is like a lamp that shines in a dark place until the day dawns. Praise be to the almighty God. Until the day dawns. And cross the morning star shines in your heart. 
And he says, knowing this first, that no prophecy is of private interpretation. Or in other words, no prophecy came about by prophets on interpretation. These prophets that God has called for our destiny to manifest, God gives them the voice to talk to us. And that's why we call them the voice. And as you're watching us on this prophetic channel, you mean how can you come out of this channel without getting blessed? Stay there and continue to watch this prophetic channel. Your life will never, never, ever be the same again. Distance is not a barrier. It doesn't matter how far, whether you're in England, you're in America, you're in Europe, you're in Asia. Distance is not a barrier. That's why God loved you so much to give you this media and this prophetic channel that you can get blessed like we in your room there. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Receive the blessing from the Father. And what you have just received now is a prophetic blessing. And you cannot run away from it right now. And you do well to pay attention to my words as I'm talking to you. For it is like a lamp that shall shine in a dark place until the day dawns. And the Bible says no prophecy or men of God prophesied not by their own mindset. But holy men of God prophesied as they were being moved or taken along by the Holy Spirit. And prophet Joel said, in the later time, Joel chapter number 2, verse number 28, in the later time, God said, I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And you are young men shall prophesy and shall see visions. Your old men shall have dreams. Let me tell you something. Listen to me. When God said your old men shall see visions, God never said my old men. He never said my own sons. He said, Joel, your sons and your daughters and your old men, not mine, but your old men, shall see visions and they shall prophesy. What does this mean? You daughters of Major, you daughters and sons of Major, Prophet Bushiri, in this prophetic era, you are going to see visions and you are going to prophesy. Receive this grace of God in Jesus' mighty name. God says, You are sons, not my sons. Joel, you are sons. I will support at my spirit on your sons. If you are a son of a prophet, you are going to, you are likely to have this prophecy upon you. Sit under this man of God. Whether on this prophetic channel, wherever you're watching us right now. You can be a prophetic son wherever you are. And a prophetic daughter wherever you're watching us right now. All you need is submit and get connected to this prophetic channel. There are numbers on the screen there. You can sometimes go and just find out where the prophet is and say hi to him. If you not find him, go the other number. It's for me. And you can write us the email address is just there. You can write us and we can respond. I love you so much, all viewers. Till I come again on your way, you are with me today, Prophet Justice Harrah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.